My name is Berlioz. I'm a private dick. My office is on Franklin, up in Hollywood Hall, on the eighth floor of a building that would scare away the carriage trade, if I drew any. The halls are dirty, and the elevator is usually on the fritz, but some folks manage to find their way up. Dopes, schmoes, weepers, whiners, souses, hopheads, and the occasional stuffed shirt. I suppose they're all God's children. I wonder if he's touchy about it. I'd seen it all, or I thought I had. Then one day, September 14th, 1947, she Hector! What are you doing here? Why, nothing. I... What are you hiding behind your back? Hiding? Nothing, Hector. Those papers, what are they? Why are you going through my drawers? It was perfectly innocent, I assure you. Thought I'd take you up, belatedly, on that whiskey you offered? At 10.30? Last night, yes. This morning? You offered. Last night, yes. But you decided to take me up on that at 10.30 this morning. I've had a bad night, Hector. Drinking heavily? After your kind offer, I left and drank heavily elsewhere. I woke up this morning, headache, trembling, hair of the dog. I drove to your office. The door was open. Searched frantically for a drink. Found these papers, these strange papers. With groups of lines. Staff paper. Yes, with notations. Melodies written out for different instruments. That's right, doll. A score. So I write music. Symphonic, melodic, with all the colors of the orchestra. What of it? Why nothing, Hector. I... Now why don't you tell me your little secret? Whatever do you mean, Hector? And quit calling me Hector. Why didn't you tell me Sperninsky was your uncle? He was my uncle? So you know he's dead? No, I mean, he was my uncle. So you know he was your uncle? I had no idea. Father never talked about his ro- Your mother, her maiden name, Smyrninsky. I see. It seems so obvious now. You thought I'd put a scare into him. He had control of your father's estate and planned to keep it. He was greedy, smooth, charming, but greedy. And so you killed him, grabbing whatever you had at hand. A bookend, a poker, a bust of Themistocles. No, the rest is true. And it's true that we quarreled. He was alive last night when I left him. He was on the phone with Janine. 